Yahweh, Bahashem, 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 Rakhat Kudash. Great. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the brothers that's teaching us truth and sincerity. And uh, shalom to the hope of the elect. One third. Sincere listeners, all right? This is GMS Toronto. Back again. Prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom, all right? Known as Babylon the Great. Okay? And here it is, man. You know we're in the last days, man. The way these people are acting, all right? Rebellious, rebelliousness at an at a all-time high. You know? But you hold uh, Sirach 10 for me. I want to go into that and then go in the spirit from there. But, you know, like I said, rebelliousness is at an all-time high, man. And why is that, man? Because the rulers of this place, okay, they set the standard, man. You know? As the scripture we're going get to get into. So every, and everybody's trying to be the, the, like the leader. Man. Everybody's playing follow the leader. Yet the, the so-called leader is actually a damn imbecile, man. A degenerate. Okay? They want to push forward all type of um, degeneracy, um, you know, stuff. That's the new thing that they're trying to push on the people, man. That's all a part of the umbrella of that alphabet agenda, man. And Ambla and all that weird shit, man. You know? But this is the judgment for you people anyways, man. Because you never took heed, you never feared, especially our people, the Israelites, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? You never feared the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Ways that he wanted you to follow, man, with, with you. He never, wanted to adhere, he never wanted to adhere to listening, man. Okay? Only the remnant is going to actually adhere to the Heavenly Father, man. Turn back. Okay? So, uh, so uh, in the one, a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. That's right. That's what a wise judge will do. You see what I'm saying? But here it is. We live in a society full of uh, chaos. Disorder, confusion, mm -hmm. right? That's why this place is known as Babylon the Great, right? Okay? A uh, woman is, is over the man, yeah, right? True. Children are over men. You see what I'm saying? Your children rule over you in the society of the scripture say, right? Okay? Here it is, your man of the most high. Yeah, and you, you, when you have children, they're supposed to be serving you, right? You know, but it's the opposite of this place. You have women, they're supposed to be serving you. You people are serving you. Know, you simps are serving women. Okay? For the, for the word woman, it means uh, servant. Right. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right? But things are, are all flipped upside down now, man. Right? Right? And so, but just to say, you know, because you're speaking of rulers and how corrupt they are. Right. We just had the former Canadian president, Brian Mahoney, he just passed away. Right. At the right. age of like 80. Of right along with um, Lord Jacob Rothschild before his parents. Right. So a lot of you corrupt rulers, you drop in debt. But a lot of people don't realize they live that long. It's not, it's not a blessing on them because they live that long. It's really because it's really a curse onto them. The Lord is making them rack up charges. But if you remember Brian Mulroney and what he did, you know, he brought Canada into the NAFTA agreement, the North American Free Trade Agreement. And that caused Canada to fall, right? And that, if that didn't benefit the working man, it actually benefited the rich, the corporations, the investors, the property holders. So a lot of your, your rulers that were corrupt, they were, that were over you, they were, trying to, they were trying to get over on you and to keep you down and to bring up the rich. Since you're going into Sirach 10. That's right, that's right. As the judge of the people is him, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of the ruler of the city is, such are all that dwell therein. That's right, man. You, you want to see just point the finger at Jake and Jake, oh, Jake's criminal, Jake's this. Where did he learn that behavior from, man? He learned that from you, Esau. Esau Edom, the, the criminal, the crimson man, the red man, getting caught red-handed. That's where all that things go back to, man. Alright? That's why you have all this chaos and degeneracy now. Freaking man. To my That's how you rule in this place, right? You know? And you know, you know, with having this chaos and disorder amongst the Israelites is what's going to keep you, quote-unquote, in power, man. So you, that's why you, try, you strive so hard to keep us in a state of confusion. 
all right? The nation of Israel as a whole, man. You distract us with all type of folly, man. All right. You know? Habakkuk 2, verse 15. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that putteth thy bottle to him, and makest him drunken, and makest him drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Uh, he's given us all different um, types of philosophies, you know, to adhere to, to abide by, you know, gang culture, you know, these women, thought culture, or bot culture, whatever you want to call it, man. But our women are whores, man. Okay, and it's plain to see, it's evident. You see that all on the social media, man. Our, our women are the only women that you then never covered up, man. All right? We're wearing the, the tightest piece of clothing. Okay, and if you want to know the state of a nation, you look at their women, man. Out, man. Being spearheaded by you know sexy red and these type of degenerates there, man. You know? You should actually be on a cover low. Right, you know. From head to toe. Yep. What's that one? Um Sarah 10 and 3. An unwise king. An unwise king destroyed his people. But through the prudence of them which are in the authority that the city shall be inhabited. Right, even so, man, us being waking up to this truth, man, we're learning to be wise kings, man, because eventually the elect, they're going to be the leaders of this world. Man. Okay, so it's our job to know right and wrong, man, so that's why we're actually learning good and evil on this side, man, you know, and that's why we actually have to endure the evil that we see, man. Because we still didn't get the tree of life yet. Right. So we're going through the whole good and evil. Right. But we're trying to stay on the good. That's right. A world full of wickedness, man. Right? And it's, you know, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But the most High has his rep and his elect, right? That he's going to carry. You know? It's a very narrow walk, this walk, man. Right? You know, that's why you don't see uh, the crowds of loads of people here, man. Right? All right? The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time will He set over it one that profitable, one that is profitable. That's right. That's that's Yahweh Shai, man. That's one that's going to be profitable, man. That he, he, it's going to be His kingdom, okay, alongside the Israelites. All right, His people. You see what I'm saying? And then the earth is going to be restored into its natural order again, man. No more pollution. All right. No more talks of a lower, lowering carbon footprint and all that weird shit, man. It really leads to you people get, being put to death anyways, right? When they talk about um, lowering carbon footprint, they, that's just a population control, man. You see what I'm saying? But the Lord, the Heavenly Father is actually going to bring forth a righteous uh, population control. It's not going to be put to death anyways, right? In the world war three, all right? Famine, diseases that are coming, man. Real pestilence that you're gonna see, man. Flesh eating, flesh eating diseases, man. You're really gonna see visible, just dropping dead, man, by the millions. Okay, that's what's coming to this place. All right, we're gonna have, we're gonna have, uh, you know, the situation of the falling crisis. Right, and it's not just gonna be one crisis. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a big stage. We're going to, to pretty much implode everything, right, to the, the migrants. Whether they have the civil war or cyber attack or both, right? And then they close everything down. And guess what? To start off, they're gonna have the solution, right? They're, they're, they're gonna see that. It's gonna be one digital system, right? They're gonna lose all your stocks and your bonds and your investments and all your money. You're gonna beg for a percentage. That's when the most high is really going to start working. He's going to have the poly crisis happen. And it's not going to be done to Esau, it's going to be done to supernatural. Psalms, so, you know, uh, it's like the second address, 15 and 5. The holes of the Lord I will bring plagues upon the world, the, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful work are fulfilled. Therefore, said the Lord, I will. I will, I will uh, hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer 
them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. That's right. And most guys say he's holding his tongue no more, man. He's going to refrain from that. He's actually going to show himself and reveal himself. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of you people are proud to say the things that there is no God. There is no most high, man. Okay? But he's a power that hides himself. He let, he built it. He let Esau, um, he set up Esau, man. He set up Esau as a ruler, the so-called white man as a ruler, man. He inflated his pride. Right. You know? That's why it says in Second Ezra is that the world was turned into the old silence seven days. Right? Men were ignorant. There was a great war of ignorance. You know, people doing this and going this way and doing that. Right? Alchemy and, and witchcraft and whatever else they were doing. Right? And now the Lord, like the brother said, is revealing himself, man. And you people are lost as ever. You, 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 you know who, the, who their prophet is? Cat Williams. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You watch Cat Williams. Yeah. Which, which you should watch that thing, right? Because they talk about certain stuff. But when you really watch it and you have prudence, you laugh at a lot of stuff. Right? Because that guy set up. He, he set up to say something. And you got people quoting in the comment boards. One little quote that they said, oh, it's, such a, it's like a quote. It's like a biblical quote. Because that's their idol, man. You know? I will hold my tongue my heart and touch their wickedness. Therefore, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the soul of the just complain continually. And therefore, said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among, among That's right, them. So the Lord is going to avenge his people, man. Because he, he said so, man. His, his name's sake, for his name's sake, man. You see what I'm saying? He's not going to have us going outside the way we're going outside right now, man. You see? We're taking L's on this side, man. But the elect is going to be redeemed. All right? That's, that's all part of the good news, man. The gospel, man. And it's only for the Israelites, man. So we won't be out here anymore, man. That's right, man. Famine of the word is coming, man. Trudeau coming with a new uh, bill to pass, it's right? Radio. It's Yeah. It's already passed, let go. That's right, it's so, serious. So, yeah. so brothers have to be really careful. Man. That's right, man. Right? You know that you know that they said that if you can get arrested, somebody can report you. And, and, and they fear for uh, 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 for somebody can report you for the reason of them fearing you, you're gonna spread future hate, so to speak. Pretty much you didn't even do anything, oh you didn't, I fear for my you know, for, for, for hate speech. Yeah. And they can report you. Right? And you can be brought before a judge, right? you know, before a kangaroo court. <laughs> You know, it's all a damn joke, but, but, yeah. but you know what? This place is going down. That's right. That, that's all that means. It's not for us to even fear more, right? It's actually to, for us to be happy. Yeah. Right? Because these things, when these things come to pass, that means it's man of hope. It's man of hope. The doors of mercy are closing, right? Ultimately. You know? Your side's going to, we're not going to be out here forever, man. People think, you know, you see the prophets, you know, it's just another day in the neighborhood. You see what I'm saying? We're going to come a time where we're going to be looking for us, man. And we're not going to be here. That's we should have been here when we were out in the open, man. Hidden in plain sight. You see what the Lord wants to make That's right. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt. And... But I will oh, break it. That actually goes back to, um, uh, I believe, actually, James 5. It says, The prize entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Because also, if you go back and you compare it to what happened to Abel, when he complained, when he was uh, murdered by Cain, he, his spirit went back up to the Lord and he started actually complaining. And that's actually going on right now. You have the saints, which are the Israelites who have fallen and died, who were murdered uh, by, by Esau, Edom, and the other nations. And they're actually asking for revenge. You know, and the Lord's going to bring that back. Right? You know, our people, we, we thirst for that. A lot of people, they know, and a lot of our people in the spirit, they know that some type of repayment, some type of uh, compensation has to come back to us. Right. And it's not going to be in the form of money. Right. It's actual physical violence. Right? They, they want it. And that's, that, that's what the transition of kingdoms is. It's a physical violence. Right? Blood swelling you know, tears. It's a seizing, the seizing of goods, including women, booty, spoil, you know? Pretty much justice, man. That's what our people really like. And, and they think they can after that justice. But they're so Babylonian, you know, Babylonian that they think justice is that Federal Reserve note, man. 
people tend to. But I will bring them with the mighty hand and stretch their arm and smite Egypt with the plague as their as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. And Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. That's right, man. The plagues of Egypt are going to return, man. Okay? The supernatural plague that the Mosai had sent down on, on, the, on the people, man. All right? The locusts. Okay? The, 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 uh, the rivers turn into blood. The fire the, 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 the river, the water. Right? Apparitions. Yeah. The chariots, man. The chariots are the curse of the earth that go to and fro, man. Yeah, I got the precept for Go ahead. This is uh, Exodus chapter 9, verse 13. Sure. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus saith Yahweh of Ashim Rashad, power of the Hebrews, let my people go that they may serve me. For I will at this time send all my plagues upon my home and upon my servants. And upon thy people that thou mayest know that there is none like me in all the earth. For now I will stretch out my hand, that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence, and that thou shalt be cut off from the earth. And in, and in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up for to show in thee my power, and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. That's right, man. And the Lord's name is going to be redeclared of throughout all the earth, and it's already being declared, all right, throughout the four corners of the earth, starting with his, uh, his men, all right, starting with the apostles and elders on down, of great millstone, okay, we're the ones saying the name, Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh, Shai, man, okay, which is God and the Son, uh, we ignorantly know as Jesus Christ, and it's not Jesus, right, no, such as have not been in Egypt since the foundation thereof, even until now. Send therefore now, and gather thy cattle, and all that thou hast in the field, for upon every man and beast which shall be found in the field, and shall not be brought home. The hail shall come down upon them, and they shall die. He that feared the word, and you know the plagues that you're going to receive in this time is going to be like Egypt 2.0. You know? Because, you know, these plagues, if you were to get the same plague of ancient Egypt and bring it, into this modern biblical time that we're living in, people wouldn't think it to be anything. But the plagues that are coming in this in this time, in this Egypt, in the reincarnation, are going to be far more grievous. And it's going to be magnified because now that, that hail is going to be missiles. That's right. That's right. It needs to be because uh, Esau, through his technology and his miracles, he has bewildered the people, man. Thinking that, oh, this is so amazing and, you know, some great technology that we're living in. So the Most High has to come back with something to trump all that shit, man. To let you know that it was a higher power that did this, man. Yeah, well, you've seen the people, man. They wondered after the beast during 2020, man. Right? From March onwards. March. Right? You guys you guys wandered and worshipped after the beast and it caused so many splinters within families. Right? Whoever denied it, they were banished. <laughs> you know? Excommunicated. Right? Relationships broken up. I don't know that can show you that people what do you think is gonna happen when this thing actually comes back? Right? That, that was just a trial. Uh, you know, a lot of domestic violence took place during that time. Right? Between you know, between partners and whatnot. So what what more when the when real all hell breaks loose now? When the scenic is implemented and you can't eat without without you have have to have this device, right? And then you have your woman now, she takes your son or your, ch your daughter, whatever, your child, and she goes and takes a seat here because they got to eat. What are you going to do in that time, man? This is the real stuff that's coming, man, that we have to meditate upon, man. Family members uh, turning turning you into the government or whatever, right? This is what's coming down the pipeline, man. I 
He said for our Psalms 11 and 5, He said, The Lord tries the righteous, but the wicked, and him that loveth violence, his soul hated. Upon the wicked he rain, he shall rain uh, snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This is the this shall be uh, it said this shall be the portion of their cup. Right? Like this is what they're gonna get, man. Yeah. That they're gonna get judged, man. And uh, it's gonna happen in our in, in our it's gonna happen in our Upon the wicked shall be rain snares, fire and brimstone, and horrible tempest. This is the, this shall be a, it says, um, this shall be the portion of their cup. It says, For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. It says, For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness, his countenance doth behold it says, his countenance doth behold the upward. It says, for I, it's the words of uh, Yahweh Shai. It says, For I will give you a mouth, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain, stay, or resist. All right, keep going. Okay. Yep, yep. And it says, And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends, and some of you shall be caused to be put to death. That's right, man. These are the times that we're coming into, man. Okay, where we have to be on point, uh, spend time around. All right, we, we relay certain messages to people. You see what I'm saying? We can't just be out and open, you know, telling people our, our left and our right hand, man. We can show them one side, we can't show them the other side, man. All right, because we got to use wisdom in this side. A lot of these people are really plugged into the matrix, man. They really believe in this system. They really think that there's going to be life after this, man. Trump gets reelected and he's going to set everything aright, man. Okay, he's going to cancel out CBDC, which he's not, man. Okay, that's just part of his talking point. Are you giving a quote unquote vote for him? Alright? Your votes don't matter, man. A lot of you people thinking that your vote's gonna matter with voting in the next politician. It doesn't matter. They just wanna know where your mind is at. They already selected who's gonna be elected, man. What do you not understand? Read that part again, Art. Huh? Sure. 16 first. 15? 16, 16. Okay, so Luke 21 verse 16. And they shall be betrayed both of parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends, and some of you shall be caused to be put to death. Yeah. So don't be, don't be tripped out if you're going to go against the seed. Right? She betrayed you. Okay, yeah, whatever. She's going to have to go, man. You'll get her in the kingdom. you get her back in the kingdom. She's going to be shamefaced. She's going to be like, you know, she should have she never got to see him. <laughs> you know? But it is what it is, man. You're, gonna, you're still going to love her in the kingdom. Okay, that's what it is, man. Right? You move on. Right? Just to back you up, because I uh, the 15th verse, it says, well, I'll give you a mouth and wisdom. Just simply means, man, uh, you got to be wise. But how? you got to stay in the scriptures. Right. right. Go back to the account of how, how shy and the prophets told, how they dealt with people, how right. they interacted with the public. And how shy, he always stayed in the scriptures. Uh, the prophets, they always quoted the scriptures. And people, if, they, if, uh, if people came up and asked a very stupid question, they would just ask them back a question. That relates to the scriptures. That's how you do things with people. And, stay in the scriptures. And and you speak to them in parables as well. Because mm -hmm. it, it weeds them out. Like, you know, if any man have an ear, let him hear. But everybody has an ear. Yep. Right? But your ears are not inclined to this word, man. You weren't meant to hear this song, right? But the Lord never chose you. Right? He chose you. I was, I was watching. Come on. I was watching the, the a movie Book of Clarence, and the guy he, he wanted to be a part of the apostle. You know, I, I just want to be, you know, I want to be a part of it for his own vain reasons, of course. But he didn't understand that the most I has to choose, man. You can't just be a part of the, this thing, man. The Lord has to call you out of this world, man. We never, none of us here can say we wanted to do this, or we knew that we were going to do this, man. All right. Go ahead. So this is Matthew chapter 13, verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? 
He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. That's right, man. And even us, us being here right now, man, we're, we're in the same sight. You can see it, but they don't see it. They don't hear us. We're speaking, we're speaking English, but they don't hear us. They don't um, care to hear us. Right? Because what the Most High has done is made us a spectacle on the earth, man. Okay? We were kind of look like fools in, in this position. Although we know we're not fools, we're right? Fools for y'all, sure. Yeah, that's right. Hey, good boy. Can you see that in the NLT after, please? NLT? Yeah. NLT. So it says, He replied, You are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but others are not. Damn. It's simple and plain. You know, like, that's how you know the Most High is really working, man. He chooses who he wants to deal with. This is, this is exclusivity, man. You want to talk about VIP? This is VIP stuff right here, man. And we can't be proud about it either, though. That's the thing. You know, we got to hold it down. We got to hold our position, you know, and just and just go with it. Whatever the, the gift that the Most High gave us, we got to push for it, man. Let our light shine throughout the earth, man. Okay? Matthew 19, verse 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. That's right. And going back to the movie, I was talking about the book of Clarence. Um, the main character, he had a, his brother was Thomas in the movie, and he, he was trying to shame Thomas for you left mom, you left mom when she was hurting, and she was down, and blah 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 blah, right? That was his old angle to try and woo the people, like to make it seem like there is no God kind of thing, right? You know, that was a spin that they were trying to make it seem. But the scriptures say, you know, it is what it is, it is man. We're gonna receive it back in the kingdom, man. Now that's not to say you don't take care of your family, your you know, your children and stuff like that, but it's within reason, man. If it's going to hinder you from doing this truth, then you got to have to put that away, man. You see what I'm saying? And that's what they're not, they're not even showing you the balance and the mercy of your house shot, man. No one's saying you can't take care of your mom, man. You're telling me that they could, they could learn, but they could, they could take care of their family members, man. Yeah, they left houses and families and all that stuff, but you know what I mean? It was what it was, man. They, they, they moved in the spirit, so like, yeah, yeah. They moved in the spirit, knowing that, and, and in faith, that they were going to get it all back, man. Right? Go ahead. Uh, Matthew 10. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm speaking about the uh, heaven. Uh, heaven. Uh, heaven. Uh, he says, when they are friendly, that's not the truth. Like, like a brother, uh, right? Where you, I could be your mother, your father. Because I was just the important brother, the important part of the level to the sins of the family. Right? Because I father and mother right. more than me is not worthy of me. <laughs> and he that loveth son and daughter more than me. So, it, yeah, because I watched that movie, right? The yeah. Book of Clarence. And there was only like, uh, there was only like two or three people, man, in the whole theater. <laughs> and I went there. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it's a good, it's a, it was, I liked it. It was, it was, right. it was all right. It wasn't bad. It was and and the reason why is because yeah. they don't want to see a quote-unquote black Jesus. Mm -hmm. Right? That's offensive to this world, man. But it's true, man. And that's, that's the truth that's been hidden um, for hundreds of years, man. Okay? Yeah, but, so I went to the Bob Marley movie, right? Every whole, whole bunch of people in the fucking theater. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> when I went to the Book of Clarence, <laughs> yeah. no fucking body was there. You right. watched it. Right. So it, it has like four reviews. But it was a good movie, though. Yeah, it was good. Go ahead. This is um, Book of Matthew 12, verse 26. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he, this is Yahushai, answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? And he stretched out, he stretched forth his hand 
towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. So you have to do the simple, man, like how, how, how we would, because we came around the school of Esau, and the mom's outside, hey, what mom, come, come in. You know, let mom buy it. And I say, yo, whoever is doing this work, that's my family. So, 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 so your natural born brothers and sisters that you're born, same mother, same father, listen, man, your brothers are here, man. Right? That's what Hausha is saying. Like, none of our brothers are demons. My brother is straight up demon, and he, tell, he tells me that. He said, I have a sister that's a demon. No, my brother is a sister. No, my brother is a sister. You can't tell me he's a straight up. He said, yo, me love skit, man. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> straight. <laughs> right? in, in so many words, but he's saying... He, he has he, a spirit on it. He can't. Yeah, and and he's, he, saying, he's saying, if he didn't want it forever, if God brings him back, he's even mad at God bringing him back. Yeah? <laughs> that's the spirit. He's gonna come back in the spirit. That's the spirit that's coming back in the spirit. That's the spirit that's coming back in the spirit. Demon. Those are the same spirits. Yeah. 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 That's why it says you have a seal. Not according to yeah. knowledge, man. If you bring me back, me have a right? word. You have a feeling, an inclination of the reason to go Right? Not according to knowledge. Yeah. It's Matthew 10 and 38. He that... He that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. So, so, like, so when the Lord was on the scene, when, like when Yahweh was on the scene, like he had a goal, right? and he uh, knew that he was going to be on the cross. Right? But the, the Lord had, uh, like, he had his disciples, right? and basically, like guys, I'm like guys was envious of the Lord, right, because of his his. Um, They said, isn't this Joseph's son, the carpenter's son? Right? He came up with us. He was born here. You know? Don't we know him? It's like our friends, right? Or our family, right? They're probably like, yeah, man, yeah, like I know this guy when you know. Yeah, like I know this guy from the he, he, he was like a fucking little you. Like you. But he's talking about he's an Israelite. Ain't no damn Israelite. Right? Right. I'm, I'm, I'm a Muslim that's or why, whatever. That's why the Lord said, um, Are they of your own household, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because yeah. these guys is saying, Ah, yeah, I'm following, I'm following that Jehovah Witness and all these different fucking damn uh, so called religions. And, uh, yeah, I got something. All right, so this is Luke chapter 2, verse 48. And it says, And when they saw him, they were amazed, and his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee soaring. And he said unto them, How is it that he sought me? And he said not, that I must be about my father's business. And he understood not the saying, which he spoke unto them. Because at that time, he was speaking about them. Right? He was 12, 13. Right? And he, and he, and he left his parents, man. <laughs> to go in the temple. Right? So they're like, well, what's going on? We're looking for you. No, but he's, he let it be known, man. Look, this is this is my mission, and that's that, that's the mission of you, brothers. Right? You're up this team, right? Your mission is to serve the Lord ten times more, seeking ten times more. You know? and the, it's like it will, and the Lord will have a lot of obstacles, man. He'll have those favorite people turn against you that you used to love. You know, they they came up with in the world or whatever, your family or your friends. He'll, 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 he'll set up those situations just to try us, man. Like a joke, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Verse 51, and he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart, and the other shine increased in wisdom and stature and the favor with the Most High and man. So I, I just also want to add, you know, to the, to the brother's point earlier, because I said you have to use wisdom. That's exactly what the Lord did. Whenever they ask oh, yeah, a question, yeah. you always answer back to the question, and then you put them in their place with that question. And then you always do that because if you keep telling them over and over and over again, it's going to eventually register in their head. That's why it said here, his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. So she was reflecting the whole time. Maybe this guy's right. So you don't have to get caught up with these people. Just stay in the scriptures and keep repeating it over and over and over again. That's it. Yeah, you don't got to be aggressive, you know, uh, call names and do this and, uh, you know, try to force it down their throat. No, use, use subtlety. 
right? Use subtility, but be harmless as well. John 2, verse 2. It says, And both Yahweh Shai was called and his disciples to the marriage and when they wanted wine. The mother of Yahweh Shai said unto him, They have no wine. Yahweh Shai said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. Right? So he referred to his mom as a woman. You see what I'm saying? He even called her mother, like mother or mom or another woman. Like, what's wrong with you? And basically, what he meant by my hour has not yet come is that she was trying to force his hand to do miracles. Right? Because she 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 knew he had spiritual power. Right? But his, his spiritual power is for a time and place. Not for, you know, people to be in a mirth like spirit sort of say. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to hot, hot up the scene type of thing. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you, you, you're having a marriage, but the most I wasn't dealing with all that, man. He was on a mission to push his word. Right? However, he still ended up doing it anyways. He still ended up showing his power and his miracle. But the point was that, you know, he's trying to force my hand. He's trying to be humble about it. You know, he's, he's on a mission. He's doing what he has to do for the Heavenly Father, teaching the word. All right, trying to wake up Israel. He didn't have time to be having a mirth, you know, being in mirth at a wedding, man. right? But just to show you the power of what he can do, man, he changed the water into wine. That, that's what this is going into. I'm not going to read it off, right? But he, he changed the water into wine, man. All right, Yaki, they were drinking water back then, right? That's this guy that's telling you not to drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? What's up with that guy, man? Just bugged out. Right? Hey, Jake just trying to sound three. Yeah. yeah. H3O. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're good. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're good. Go ahead. Yeah. Where are you saying? It's the sidewalk. You saw. You saw. Okay. Found in the book. It's a good, good book. book. Very good. You saw. That's right. Why do these men with no name? You are from Clint Eastwood's. John 9, verse 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. That's right. That's right. It's going to come a time where society will shut down, right? Okay? We're very closely approaching that time. That's right. Talk about all 30,000 layoffs here and all these different big tech companies um, laying people off, man. It's going to come a time where all that's going to be shut down completely, man. All right? They already have AI coming through. They have robots. You're, gonna, you're replaceable, man. They're, they're showing you in front of your face that you're replaceable. So what are you going to do, man? Right? Right. Yeah. This is, this is work. Right. right. It's labor of love, but nevertheless, it's, it's, it's still work. That's right. Right, the Yahweh Shai prophesied that the days are going to come. I mean, see, you know, this work, like a literal work of job, is going to get gonna have obsolete. That's right. Okay. And ultimately, man, you know, we do what we got to do to get our daily bread, but we, we can't wait for the society mm -hmm. to collapse, man. That way we don't have to worry about the stresses of this world, man. Okay, because right now we have the, the stress of, uh, you know, paying bills, you know, first, uh, first of the month, rent. Right, this rat race, all right, making sure you have enough to, to get through to the next uh, month. But we live like a day to day, a month to month life now. Right? Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> having to manage everything on that shit. Yeah, you know, all that big shit. You know? Yeah, that's coming to an end, man. And you're gonna see the, the, the real the real people, man, the, how vile they are, man. what they really think, man. And you see that from time to time when it comes to, uh, like, you know, Black Friday deals, especially in America, man. People fighting over TVs, man. It's carnal shit. You know, you saw that uh, during the vid when they were fighting over toilet paper, right? Yeah, yeah. The elites were just playing games on you, man. I mean, you need a shortage on toilet paper. Of all things, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> of all things that the elites were fucking you people up with. Not even water. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> now, now, now the people are all, people are getting ready to vote, man. They're amused with this movement. You know, they're Trump. Oh, we've got yeah, yeah. Trump and then this guy, Holy Beer. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his first name? Pierre. Right? Pierre. Yeah, the yeah. conservative. Right? Oh, we got to vote. That's the new wine the people are drunk on. We got to switch. So I, I don't like this liberal shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's that's the next trap, man. That's good. Yep, that's good. Yep, that's good. Good. This is Second Peter's chapter one verse three. According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and goodliness through the keep knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these he might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, and beside his giving all diligence and to perfect virtue and to virtue. And that's a big thing in this world, man, the lust of the flesh. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm, that's a fight, man. And a lot of you people, especially you know it's true, man. That's all you're dealing with, man. The lust of the flesh. I need it now. I need it instantaneously. He saw, he saw knows how to really tune yeah. that, tune that even more. Right. There's already a lust of the flesh, carnal. Right. By, yeah. by nature. By nature. Yeah. Right. But he saw no, no, no. We gotta advertise this shit. We gotta push it. You know, we gotta push the witchcraft. You know? we, gotta, we gotta make you feel things. You don't know why you, you don't know why you want them. Right. <laughs> you don't know why you want to walk them. Right. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's that's what keeps us up, man. That's what keeps our, 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 our attitude up, our mindset up, our spirit up. Is these exceeding great promises, man. These precious promises, right? Of, of not dealing with these bodies anymore. You know, not dealing with the common stresses of life. So never mind the big stresses, man. Not worrying about war, someone coming to take your land, right? Because it doesn't matter what you do to God, you always got to protect you. The other side, right, he's going to set it up where we're just going to be good, man. Even in the ancient world, right, you still had to worry, man. You know, you might have had your land, but today it's here, tomorrow, you know, some shit happened, right? So, but having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, and beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith, virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. These are all traits the world doesn't possess, man. The world lacks all these traits. You see what I'm saying? When you come into this truth, you start to gain these traits, man. These godly traits that you're, that you're supposed to have. You're pretty much embraced, man. Right? You like, man. You embrace these traits, man. You become brotherly, you know? But it's that patience, godliness. Patience means to suffer. Right. A lot of people, man, just want that quick. Yeah. Right? That that escape is there to escape is you can't deal with the pain or whatever you're dealing with. Right? The Lord said, look, you gotta meet me face to face, man. You know? You gotta turn to me and confess your iniquity. That's what Samaki just to add on to a point here because he said he said in order, he said temperance, which really means for you to abstain, then you get patience. So if you master temperance, then you're gonna start to master patience. And then when you master patience, then you become a god, 
right? And that's all the Lord. You know, he, he shows temperance and then he's patient at the same time. So you can't have you can't have one without the other. If you're patient, then you've got to know how to be temperate. Right? That's why Paul said that. Temperate without right? So if you want to be like a patient, you have to be hospital, right? You have to go great. So you can have to heal and all that. And that's what he's choosing. Hey, when, when you're sick, anybody even talk to you is like a, is like a, is like a nuisance, man. Get some of your nerves. You're sick. You're ill. So you even got to deal with that temperance and patience, right? When, when, when this word, when you get this word, right? When you first get it, it's sweet and then it turns into bitter. But you can't let that bitter you up, man. I mean, being, being, being a, a rude to brothers or to, you know what I mean? Just a, a, a most moody, right? There, there's times and seasons for everything, but you got to understand that you can't let it bitter you up, man. All right? Go ahead. I got the word temperance real quick. Yeah, read it. Blue letter. It says self control. The virtue of one who masters his desires and passions. Okay, a lot of people they can't be they can't just be alone more than a day or two. They gotta go out to a restaurant, to a bar, to a club, you know, they gotta go to a party. They can't be alone. You know, you can talk about their Lord. Right? Boredom is a big thing in society, right? You know that you don't get bored the quickest in this world, woman. Right? You gotta be always constantly trying to entertain the bitch. Like, chill out, man. Cook a meal and have a, you know, sip some wine, you know, whatever. Just chill out. They find out when they hit the wall, they want a thing called soft life. Right. Right? They want the soft life. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Verse 7 At the godliness, brotherly kindness. At the brotherly kindness, charity. But if these things be in you have a bound, then may you that ye shall lip, lip, neither be boring nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Father the Holy Spirit. That's right. But we're we're always going like, like, to be able to, you know, the Spirit, the Lord deals with us, we're always going to be able to provide wisdom unto the elect, right? Right, not being, uh, we're not going to be bears, you know, we're going to not be barren, man. Like I said, being fruitful, man. So we're going to add on, to, you know, more followers, man. More believers. More of the elect, man. Go ahead. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. And has forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Yeah, you can't see afar off, man. Right, you got to have vision like the apostles see, man. Right? Vision. No sight, right? We're watchmen, right? But what do watchmen do? Do they look down? No, man. They got the tower. They look the, the whole man. Mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Right? If there's a corner, a tree moving, and you come to there, right? You're there, right? You're looking far, man. It's the same thing with, with your brothers, man. You can't be looking like fuck, catch it, man. Check the chart, you know, this, and the car things, you got that deck collect, you know, all this stuff. You got my woman. But you gotta look at it far, man. You know, this place, first of all, this place is done. Yeah. This is not 2015. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not 2015. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. But, wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling election short. For if we do these things, we shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you. Above, above me, above me, into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord Yahweh Shai. I got this. This is uh, First John two and verse fifteen, and this is in the uh, <coughs> in NLT. It says, "Do not love this world or the things it offers you, for when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world." offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. And that's this world, man. What car do you drive? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you know that whole uh, Instagram thing where they do the whole year? How was your year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Travel. Yeah. All that bullshit, yeah, yeah. right? But look, there's nothing wrong with traveling. There's nothing wrong with doing nice things, but the way you people do it is in a narcissistic manner. Like, yeah, what you yeah. yeah. You know? It says, 
These are not from the Father, but are from this world. And this world is fading away. So like, just to add on to the point of like, what is the travel? They, they go out to travel, but then they do an all type of lewdness on top of that because they, in their mind they feel free. Like, they hop on a plane and they, they're in a new place. They're in a new place, right? So they feel like they, they're free to do anything they want. Yeah, nobody knows, you know? It's like a weird debauchery, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how to have sex. <laughs> it's a bugged out movie, man. <laughs> Right, it says, and this, and this world is fading away, along with everything that people crave. Hey, they got a streaming platform called Crave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Amazon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, feed your hunger, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You got to feed your, your hunger, your flesh with all type of um, wine from these different TV shows. You got Crave, Obey. Yeah. All this bullshit. Right, but anyone who does what pleases the Most High will live forever. That's right. So we're hoping to live forever. That's right. Now, these people are dead. Yeah, We're the only ones living right now, man. You see what I'm saying? These people don't have the spirit of the Messiah on them. They have the spirit of Satan on them. Right? It's the spirit of death. Yeah, yeah, didn't that guy tell you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a guy, I was, you know, I was working, a brand new guy. I was wearing a, a face mask in the wintertime. So this guy didn't know me for nothing, man. He rides up to me. And he's like, these people are all possessed by demons. And he just rode off. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's the spirit, man. Right? No, like, it's true. Well, I was like, right? <laughs> and then, like, there was a white guy. He was like, he was just talking to himself and talking about Canada and shit. Just right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so there's like, so these either mites are, are are getting roused up and, and like, and they're upset, man. Right. Yeah. Because remember, it's at the time of the dead. Stir up, man. For your judgment, for your other yeah. nations. <laughs> You're being stirred up. Yeah. Uh, Joel 3 and 11. Assemble yourself and come, all ye, all ye heathen, and gather yourself together around the bow. Thither, call thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of, of Yahweh Shapat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen on the bow. Right. That's all you other nations, man. That are proud, man. All you other nations are not Israel, man. So you saw, you know, the so-called white man, Moab, Chinese, East Indian, okay, the Ishmael, the Arabs, all right, United Emirates, you motherfuckers. You guys are proud, man. Moab, oh, uh, Yeah, Israel, like, yeah, kind, yeah. Israel, yeah. Kind, yeah. Israel, yeah. Israel, yeah. Israel, yeah. Israel, That's right, man. Right. That's right, you know. That's right, man. And then, uh, don't feel like the way because of Israel, these are Egyptians. Israel like was in that too. Right. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. But there's always been Israel, Israel it's been high up in high up in ranks in all the armies, man. Right. Well, what happened? Shit. What happened if Israel didn't put the blood on the post? Uh, right? They got but, taken out, right? Uh, they didn't adhere to what the Mosai yeah. had said. And that's why we're going to send that first, because if was every Israel being saved, why would we need to, to do that? Right. So there's one who believed. Right. We're going to put the blood on our own group. That's what right. we believe. That's right. So you're right. Let the heathen be wakened and come up. And, and, and come up all the valley of Yahweh Shaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the heathen, as I, for the harvest is ripe. Come and get you down, for the press is full, the fat overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitude and multitude in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And this is going into the Heavenly Father's blood sacrifice, man. You know, ultimately, you know, World War III, the, ep the epicenter of World War III. Okay? That's gonna, this is a major prophecy that, that's going to take place. And it's happening right now, right. over there in Israel, yep. Gaza. Yeah. And basically that whole Ishmael, or the, or the whole Palestinians and, and Israel, this whole clash whatever like a lot of the Palestinians are here in uh, Toronto and throughout Canada and America and and um, throughout Europe and stuff and they're wreaking havoc man because there's a lot of blood a, a lot of people are dead down there man all right and, 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 like there's a lot of um, so you have a lot of Israelites over there in, in like the land of Palestine as well too all right so so this thing is uh is this thing is real man
the Lord also shall war out of, the, out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heaven and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. Right. That's right, man. So a possessive uh, word, his, and then it goes in even further to say who that is, is his people is Israel, man. All right, so you people can't uh, wiggle your way into salvation, man. You other nations, man. But they, they know who the Israelites are, man. Yep. And our people are still there, over there in the land of Israel, all right, and uh, over there in uh, Oh, oh, like over there in uh, like the Mona Israel mm. and in Palestine, all right? And, like, and they're getting oppressed and all that shit, man. All right? So, so these uh, small hats, they have a lot of shit to pay for. Uh, and, and, and that whole land is going to be on fire, man. All right? I, 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 after this third war, uh, war, man. It says, so shall the, it says, so shall you know that I am the Lord, your power, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then, sh then shall Jerusalem be holy. There shall no strangers pass through her anymore. So yeah, so all these um, these that being over there in our land, man, that we have the so-called um, guys. What do you call it? The, the damn falashas. Oh yeah. Uh, the, 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 there's so many. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the Arab, there's yeah, a whole bunch of fucking, yeah, Chinese, like, yeah, everybody w wants that land, all right, but the real inhabitants of the land isn't, isn't, it, like, is it, it's not, it, like, it's not there reaping the benefits, right, all right, people are getting cursed out here, so shall you know that I am the Lord, your power, dwelling in Zion, and, and, and just like that idiot Cat Williams is talking about the Garden of Eden, that's why that land is so powerful, man. Men die over it. How many, how many nations? That's in the book of Ezekiel, right? I think 35, 36. You mentioned men, men, men shall not die over it. Roughly correctly. You know, because so many men done with the Crusades and the Arabs. How many, how many wars? How many, yeah, so-called holy wars have happened, right? Over that little plot of land. That's that precious land of the Lord. The Lord shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heathen and the earth shall shake but the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel so shall ye know that I am the Lord your, your power dwelling in Zion my holy mountain then shall Jerusalem be holy and there shall no strangers pass to her anymore and it shall come to pass in that day that the mountain shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and the rivers of Judah shall flow with water, and the fountain shall come down from the house of the Lord, and shall water the valley of Shittim. Uh, Egypt shall be a desolation, Edom shall be a desolation wilderness. For the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed the innocent blood of their in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever and Jerusalem for from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. In the word Zion, it means uh, yeah. It, it, it means monument, all right? And then you watch that, you watch that movie with, uh, you watch that movie with, uh, what do you call it? It's called, it's called like, the book of, uh, no, it's not, not the book of Clarence, the damn, uh, the damn actor, uh, the, 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 the clothes. Uh, Jamie Foxx? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. yeah he, he was, he was talking about that. Churches and then uh, they had like a, they had like an underground um, 
like base and stuff, and they said Zion and shit. Right. So, so they're showing certain things yep. in our face. Right. And it's really for us to see. Yeah. And you know, and, and then the elites on the left hand side to see these little signals. But only we're gonna pick up on these things, man. Huh? Jake and the world, and whatever. You know, sure. that matrix or anything you call the land, the last city of Zion. Right. The last city of Zion. Yeah. Yeah. James, James 2 19 is that the devils they believe and they tremble. <laughs> so they know. Psalms um, 83. Psalm 83 and 1. Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh, O, o Yahweh. Hold not thy peace. Be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Then they, so they have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they so like your, like your say, right? They did that for all the tribes because we all lost our heritage, but the tribe that they did that the most to most even so with the high tribe Judah, right? Now with Judah, when they came to the Americas and they endured hardcore slavery, child of slavery, all right? They tried to, you know, after they were free, quote unquote, emancipated, all right? They, they, ha they would have their own little uh, separate cities and they would have private cities and segregation, you know? And through segregation, we were actually, quote unquote, right. doing all right, thriving, you know? A better, you know, a bit, had an economic system, we were, yeah. we were thriving, right? But Esau, the devil that he was, okay, the the the, the hey ambassador that he was, man, he had to um pretty much, you know, Burn sabotage him, you know, burn it down. And, and it wasn't just Tulsa, it was a whole bunch, man, all throughout the United States. And, States, and, States, and they showed you that in that, in that movie, Killers of the Flower Room. You're actually watching the movie, mm -hmm. right? Because they, they were videotaping certain parts of it, and they sat in the movie scene, they were watching it, you know, Tulsa, this, and this bomb, and this happened. No? Right. So show. Right. Oh, this, this occurred. <laughs> right. So they did a diligent, um, you know, dil they did their diligence to destroy Judah, for, for sh you know? Even though Judah didn't even know that they were the tribe of Judah, right? They were just, you know, trying to, you know, make a living for themselves in the land of America. American Negro. You know? So so American, so were, yeah, that's yeah. what they were. But even with, as them being American Negro, they had to destroy that. You know? Then bring in the, the crack in the 80s and all type of things, man. Just to keep them in a bug that will stay to mind, man. And then they want to point the finger at you blacks and lazy and this and that, man. No, man, you've actually done a great job of sabotaging us, man. Of sabotaging the nation of Israel, man. From, from the, you know, from all the tribes. Yeah, they had the heroin in the 60s and 70s. Yeah. yeah. That was killing them. Right. I got the Jim Crow uh, laws, too. I think in like, the 50s and That's stuff. That's right. And, and another thing, you know, I want to say as well, because Esau, Esau likes to say that in, in America, I'm talking about specifically, like the so-called black Negroes are, are minority, man. They say it's 14%, but it's way more than that, man. Because why would they have to put all, you know, especially in the South, man, the, the slaves were outnumbering the Edomites, man. At that time, they had to import Edomites to even, you know, pretty much live on the land of America, populate America, man. Because they had more slaves than there was slave masters, more people working the land. Jake, there was Jake was still they were, was, Jake was like, exactly. Fine. But he had free, you know, free Jake as well, too, on the land, you know, as well. So Jake been there, Jake been in America, and so the whole 14 percent population of Negro in, in America is higher than that, right? That's all I gotta say. That's a, that, that, that's the thing that he saw has to right. right? Yeah, and it's the same thing too, like in the Caribbean, Central America, South America, a lot of Jake was already dwelling there even before this whole right. slave trade, you know? Right. And they were, they had cities and towns, and they were living very affluent, right? Right. But yeah, they, they have right. said, come and, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, and the name of Israel may be no more remembrance. But they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against them. The tabernacles of Edom and Ishmael of Moab and the Hagarines. Well, right? so to me, like, that's what like, these guys are like, like, in 
need to have all the gas stations in Moab. Uh, they have the, um, the, the so-called uh, the Chinese food. Yeah. Like the hair and stuff. Yeah, oh, hair, big uh, hair. And all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Right. So, and you yeah. get grants too, man. You get, you know, when you get a grant, that's a big thing. You want to pay it back? Yeah. Could be a hundred thousand. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, but they have consulted together one consent the tabernacle of Edo, and Ishmael, Moab, and Hagarim, Gabal, and Ammon, and Amalek, the, Ish the Philistines, with the inhabitants of Tyre. Right. So, what so it's like the, uh, like the Amalek is just it's like the people in our land. All right. Call themselves small and hard. This call themselves you know what? J V W. Yeah, it's yeah. And then, even so, right? Even before we came into this truth, there's always controversy in that land, man. You know, and it, it was just you know when we came into the truth, then we realized, oh, it makes so much sense. Yeah, cause you know, I always grew up like I remember when I was like when I when I I, I was born here. But, like when I, I would go back and forth to Jamaica, right? so when I come back, I was like five and six, so I'm looking at the news, and I'm seeing war over there in the land of Israel. Right. I didn't understand. Right. All right. And it's the same thing, like in the 80s, 70s, yep. right? uh, a lot of like the reggae artists was, like a lot of, like, like even though they're Rastafarian and they're bugged out, but, 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 but like it's like, well, it's like they were pushing a lot of uh, a lot of truth, right? This is Isaiah chapter two, verse uh, one. It says the word of Isaiah, the son of Amos, concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountains of the Habashim Oshai's house shall be established at the top of the mountains. And shall be exalted above yeah. the hills, and all nations shall flow onto it. That's right. The government, the rulers, right? They elect the uh, Yahweh Shai, okay? the David, the 12, the 1,000, as rulers. That, those are going to be the, the governing body, man, of the universe. Right? Go ahead. Okay, and it says, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow onto it. That's right. That's the key point, because you're not seeing that now. Right? So true people, they're not ruling over there in the land of Israel. So the reason why you're having all that conflict is because the original people are not in that land. That's right. Right? And, and that's not, judgment. That's right. Because in our rulership, we're not going to be tyrants. We're not going to be unjustly. We're going we're gonna to execute righteous judgment. You know? We have to take it to death. Right? It is what it is. But we're not going to be some tyrants. Yeah, like I think for this whole... Uh, like during last year, over over like over over ten thousand of the Palestinians dead. Right, so so that's serious, man. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Man. Yeah, that's a workforce. Man. Yeah. In our, you know, in our in our mind, we're like, what do we do with the workforce? Why would we want them to be put to death like that, man? Right? Now, since you mentioned tyrants, right? Right. Like, okay, you see Israel today. Okay, yeah, they're tyrants yeah. because they have the Mossad, they're into intelligence. And that's what the United States like, and that's why the United Same States backs them, and that's why they're called the welfare state because they're the pillar against uh, against the what? The East, the Saudi, not Saudi Arabians, but uh, uh, who are they? Um, the so-called terrorists. I'm going to use that for lack of better words. But um, um, if, if, if this is the true people, why are they labeled as a welfare state? Because if we're in our glory, we wouldn't need no welfare. We would have it all. Why do we need to be supported? Right? right. So that doesn't make any sense. Right. The, the, the land that we have, that we possess, we'd be able to, you know, we wouldn't be importing anything, man. We'd already have what we need in our land, so to speak. Right? Not, well, whereas that land right now, they, they're, they're exporting like crazy, man. They don't have, the, the land is not arable, man. It's not good land over there right now. It's not blessed. No? I have a little bit more. Don't go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This is our verse 3, and it says, And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. And we will walk in his path. The God of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of Yahweh Bashim Hashai. So why are they claiming to be, oh, you're anti-Semitic, you're anti-this, oh, you hate you hate us. But if that were the case, right, if, if, you, if you were the true people, that wouldn't be happening. 
because the nations they would be coming on to you to learn everything. The nations hate you. The Arabs hate you. Ishmael, your brother, he hates you. Man, Jake, Jake, Judah, they don't like you. Right? So you're you're hated. Even though they're eating white women. Yeah, yeah. And like and the they're rabbis know who we are too, right? Because those rabbis, they're going to like Nigeria and stuff, and they're telling their people. Because like the Nigerians know who they are. Right? They talk about Igbo and stuff. So it's like, this is like all fucking uh, psyop, man. Right? Yeah. It's all uh, bullshit, man. Right? Right? But, but, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a show, right? Verse, uh, just two more precepts, two more precepts. Right. It says, uh, verse 4, And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into unicorns. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Yeah, that didn't happen. Right. All right. Not in the least. Yeah. Yeah. They have women fighting wars and shit <laughs> shit. over there in the land. And transformers. They fight in the war over there. Women and trans. <laughs> <laughs> but it being that the folks into voucher, you know, that's the workforce, man. Right? That's what we're going to be working for us as a human resource, man. You know? So we'll be here 40,000 people dead. Oh, what a waste. Now, when the Edomites have to get burnt up after a thousand years, all right, that's going to be righteous, man. That's going to be a high old day as well. That's right. You know? But for lot in the context of what it's really going to Putting down their weapons. Right, 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 right. Putting down their weapons of war because now you're seeing all these weapons of mass destruction being created at a, at a high rate, man. Right? right. You have you have uh, Satan two, no Satan one, the Satan two, the MOAB, the super duper nuper uh, nuke that uh, America made in the United States. You have something called the uh, um, ballistic missiles, and you have ICBMs, you have conventional uh, uh, warheads. Why are the, why are all these things being created? So it says here, and the spears and the kingdoms, nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. And you have all these different special force groups. Now, why, why are they coming out with the space force? That's a new branch of the United States military. Why are they coming out with that? <laughs> if you were the two people. Right. Right? It says learn war. So they got these cyborgs now with war. Right? They got to determine how to train, how to shoot. Right? How to shoot properly, how to move, how to... You know, when they fall, how to get up and shoot. Okay, I won't go. What kind of world are we living in? <laughs> is this the chosen people reigning? Of course not. Sure. Sure. So that's why it's scary to get, you know, it's scary the guns, you know, the like clapping. And when you're sitting down to you and, and, and the robots are you, let me see your guns, you, you, you demand them on the street, let me see you take them out. And let me see you see them. It's the best thing. You know, the safari, you have them big long guns and the body that we're ready to fight. Fight who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, last precept, verse 5. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of Yahweh. That's it. That's right. This is uh, Ezekiel 36, and this is what your brothers are going into about Israel. Right? Pretty much it's a, it's a battlefield, man. It's been a battlefield for centuries, for millennia. Right? This is Ezekiel 36 and verse 10. This is in the NLT. It says, I will greatly increase the population of Israel, and the ruined cities will be rebuilt filled with people. I will increase not only the people, but also your animals. O mountains of Israel, I will bring people to live on you once again. I will make you even more prosperous than you were before. Then you will know that I am the Lord Yahweh. I will cause my people to walk on you once again, and you will be their territory. You will never again rob them of their children. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. The other nations taunt you, saying, Israel is a land that devours its own people and robs them of their children. Right? Because you had you had a northern kingdom taken away during the Syrian captivity. Right? And then you had the Babylonians, right, capture Judah, the kingdom of Judah, sacked the temple. And pretty much after that, it's just been a, it's been a shit show. You know? You had, you had the Lord give mercy upon the back of the to restore the temple and do certain things, right? But pretty much we've been scattered. It's been a diaspora, right? It's been a joke. So that's why the nation conquered. Right? It says, um, it says, verse 15, I will let, I will not let you hear those other nations insult you. 
and you will no longer be mocked by them. You will not be a land that causes this nation to fall, says the Sovereign Lord. That was it. Jabal, who was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as of cattle. And his brother's name was Jabal, he was the father of all such as handled the heart of Morgan. And she also bear to the king, and the instructor of every part of the city, grass and iron, and the sister of Tubal Cain was the mom. And the word Cain means a weapon. And it says here, And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech, hear unto my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. So here it is, like this man killed a man, right? It's not telling you that's what he Guess what happened to Terrence Howard, the actor? He just got fined with a million dollars for speaking up against the so-called Jews just for saying that, hey, any uh, descendant of a slave shouldn't be taxed. That's all he said. And then they fined him a million dollars. So he's, he's right. They, if you talk against them, they're going to come out to get you, whether it's through the sword or whether it's through fight or money or economically. Yeah. To, add, to add on to that, because, you know, going into pain, these weapons, you know, Esau, he's a master of all warfare, right? So, information war, all right? Um, you know, wep weaponry, uh, disease warfare, you name it, man. He's, he's mastered it. So, he knows how to get you, man. You know? It's not, it's not just like a sword. Or a right. No. He's a, weapon, he's a weapon with words. Yep. Like, you know, he's a weapon with tactics and, and finance. Blocks, and yeah. Finances. Yeah. Yeah, man. Food. Yeah. Food is, yeah. Eminem is a weapon. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Cheerios and all yeah, that shit. Blue number seven. Yeah. Blue yeah. FC number nine. Yeah. Red guy. Yeah. yeah. I'm an anti-scientist. Yep. Red scientist. Red scientist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why it says in the, in the pocket book to the good, for the godly, godly thing to consider, right, in terms of food, right? Anything, man, water, Everything flour, salt, right. salt mm -hmm. wine, well, may contain sulfites. Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> may, conta may contain shellfish. What does that mean? Right. <laughs> may contain shit up. That's part, that's part of the crafty council, right? I've seen it because we have those big chain restaurants, like Jack Astor's, those big restaurants. You have to surrender your, your ingredients to a, high, to a higher power, and then you got to tell them what's in it. And they know, like, like, like um, you see you rank five, and you know what it means. And if, if you put, like, um, like natural, you don't want that. Why, why things are promoted, apples are not promoted, or, or like bananas? Like, you know, what's passing up in a banana or an apple? That's not right there. You know? We have this chicken singer. What's a singer? You know? <laughs> you know? Hot and spicy and, and showing you, you know, that kind of food porn. But you shouldn't have to advertise food. Food is a necessity. So when you're hungry, you should eat. But you might have a whole bunch of commercials, Super Bowl, you know, marshmallows and all this stuff. You mess you up. <laughs> you know? Deep fried marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> I said, yo, put a puff and your eyes spin around your head and show you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Bugging out, man. Fuck is gonna help, man. Count Chakala. Okay, you have food loops. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Psalms 50, verse 20. <laughs> Thou sittest. And speakest against thy brother. Yeah. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. I said, go to the witness, Esau and Jacob, man. In those councils that they, that they have, with Jake present too, right? Because Jake, once he, he gets a letter that his name, and he, and he feel like he's better than, he, he studies Esau, man, because he doesn't see himself as a downtrodden. He thinks he's going to be a pie. When in every secret council, there's a secret within the secret. Yeah. <laughs> they showed you that in the movie, um, Leave the World Behind. Right? Where the guy, he, he didn't really get the message. You know what I'm saying? There's guys that get the message and then they can escape when, right. when all hell breaks loose. Right. Kind of thing, right? But he didn't even get the message. He didn't even quote, quote unquote kind of up there as a Jake. Done. They right? gave him a phone. That doesn't work. Right. Just call me, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Reach me, you know. So yeah. he, he, thought, yeah, so he thought he was good. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no, nah, nigga. You, you got your Negro wake up call then, I guess. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such a one as thyself. You know, like us. We think the world we're going down. Oh man. Now we're cool. That's something you know what's a cool too, man. A cool too, man. You know, you're stuck somewhere, you know, you, you call, it's coming. You see what I'm saying? You know, you, you, you want some gas, he's bringing it for you, man. And, and working your car, his finger bleeding. But it's not, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean that in the kingdom, you know, it, 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 yeah. You get back in the same way. The Lord made our boss and made friends of the man of this world. That's right. Right? right. Don't over abuse it. Don't go, 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 go there, you know, with, with, with the, you got your pocket for its fringes on it. You know, it's over, it's over, it's Israelite. You know? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's so cool. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. That's right, so what we're seeing right now is being done in the spirit. Right? All this Ray Ray, you know, this person blowing that person, this person getting the food, and hey, listen, man, you have the right beat in the first place. Right? You know, we're neutral to what's happening. Right? It's supposed to happen because it's our land. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't sorry for either side. Like, it's it's bad because, you know, they, they, you know we're, we're in the flesh, so we, we have, you know, it's, it's sympathetic towards it. It could be us. It happened to us. Our babies were being fat, you know, like um, they put a death. Nobody's sword, you know. The other iPhone brought up where um, 
they were like the skeet they thought I was big for yeah, with the plates. Yeah, yeah. That's they do it with the kids. Wow. Our kids. Oh, yeah. So you know what I mean? Yeah. Where's upper then? Right. That's why? Why yeah. is it be spoken about that? Hey, this was what's happening to the so-called Negro or the Indians? No people. Right. 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 But people don't consider what we went through, man. And they don't like to talk about the numbers of you know the millions and millions of Israelites that got put to death during that those times, man. The numbers are undeniable, man. They, 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 that's that's the saw shame. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's physicians and then he would give them something called treatment he wouldn't heal them so he would use chemicals and stuff and things of that nature to profit off of jake when he's suffering that's exactly how amalek acts you know exodus 17 and 16 where he said because the lord yahweh has sworn that the lord will have war with amalek from generation to generation right we're in a new generation and we're at war with Amalek again, man. Right? That right now they are the ones in, in rulership. They are the ones in power right now. Okay? But how we're at war with them is bringing out this word, bringing out this truth. Right? We're in the information war right now. No? Go ahead, huh? Isaiah uh, 14 and 21 prepare slaughter for our children for the iniquity of their fathers that they may not so that they do not put rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with the cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name, remnant, son, and nephew, saith the Lord. And that's what's going to happen, man. It's going to be traded in places. And the elect, I'm, 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 I'm like, whoever the elect is, right? 
it's gonna it, like it's gonna be able to look into like certain of these given rights and, and like already know that you, know, you kill such and such you know in this past life like, you know so they're gonna be like uh, like a like a super power right? and the same chapter reading so it says there is slaughter for his children. So there's, there's, there's Lucifer, uh, the world seems to have was taught. So, no. We have children, <laughs> so we have kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what it's talking about. Like Lucifer, I said, I said he has come down as low as we, right? So this is hell doctrine of being has been preached and being upheld as a place you go on the earth and you burn forever. You know what I mean? This script, this is how the cuts it. No. Isaiah uh, 14 and um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, Isaiah 14 and uh, 12. Yeah, how art thou, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? So, so heaven is a place of loftiness. So there's two heavens, right? Where the most high lives. And the heavens are like the solar system, the moon, stars, you know, heaven. And his heaven, which Esau now resides. Esau is so-called white man. Like he's a rush of this uh, of this earth. Right? So he's not catching heaven. Right? Because he's not catching hell. Right? The, the wicked elites. Right? Yeah, because look at Rothschild, uh, like Sarah and Rothschild and then Jacob Rothschild, they died. Right. But, but they died with trillions of dollars right. to uh, of, like for their children. Right. Yeah. right. And how, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? And the, the most times is being facetious, mocking you. If you're God, right, and you have all this knowledge and all this wisdom, all this light, how can you just fall out of power? <laughs> you know? That's what the, 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 the author is saying. I will go, go back to the Heavenly Father, even with my Isaiah, right? The Heavenly Father is like, how'd you fall out? If you're God, uh, uh, well, how come that happened to you? <laughs> how art thou put down? To the ground, which did weakness the nation. That's right. He took, took our nationality. He took our power. That's what weakened us. Right? We didn't know who we are. Right? We didn't know that the Heavenly Father is Yahweh and His Son is Yahweh Shai. And it's the only way we can be redeemed and be brought back from the city. Right? 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 And through that, we can be redeemed from the city. Right? And through that, we can be redeemed from the city. Right? And through that, we can be redeemed from the city. Right? And through that, we can be redeemed from the city. Right? And through that, we can be redeemed from the city. Sinning against myself. Okay? And it was you that, 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 that pushed forward that lie. You know? You were Africans. Right? You know, you know, you know, you know all this is this, 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 this technology. You're behind it. All the technology is behind it. Right? Uh, for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars and the power. And the stars. Right? It's literal and theoretical because the star is, uh, is us, right? And he is, he is transcendent above us, but also he's putting put 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 space jump, right? In the, in, in the heavens, right? And, and, and watching over people, right? By the way, I think about satellites. Some people call it satellites, but it's actually a satellite. <laughs> and, and, and they're, they're falling out of the sky now. Some people are falling out of the sky now. Some people are falling out of You know, so, what is this thing? It doesn't make mainstream news that they go on TikTok, man, or, or, or Instagram. Yeah, I saw that yeah, a, couple, uh, a couple weeks ago. Good. Yeah, Good. Right? I've, I've, been, I've been saying it, but I've been seeing it in yeah. different, different TikTok posts. Right? But now, I get it. It's win. Right? I will sit, sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. And that's where we are. We're in North America, man. North. This is the whole continent inside of the north. Right? And who's in rulership? Isa, right? Everything he says, he wants, he wants everything with the Holy Spirit, right? You want to point people on your ass, guess what? You're going to go to him, right? Your woman's on a period and she wants a couple of napkins, just to go to him. You mean, everything you want, this man is in, is in control of it, he can cut you off whatever he wants, man, right? So he is ruling in the side of the north and the world. You know, every report is like, you know, you know, that's the tuning of it. Edomite supremacy, he says it's white supremacy, but it's Edomite supremacy, man. That's right, that's what he wants. Done. And even so, like, Edomite 
countries, especially in America, they have an embassy in, just to back up the point, they have an embassy in all these other countries. But showing that they have a dominion over here is that. That's right. Right? So ultimately, you have the answer to the, uh, the Esau. Right. You know? Well, Jamaica is supposed to be a so-called black country, which is not a plantation. But there's seven ruling class, there's 13 families, and seven of them are, are all those issues. And the six of them is more of so the Chinese, Elam, so the East Indian, and um, the Arabs, man. That makes it six. Well, he makes sure he's a seven. You know? <laughs> I will ascend above the, the height of the clouds. I will be like the more side. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. That's a, that's a threat, right? And that's going to be fulfilled via who? Yahweh Shai, man. Right? You may take out the power. That's why we're, we're in favor of guns, right? We ain't gonna fly these signs, but we're fit, you know? You know? Our guns are the scriptures, man. Our guns are the scriptures. Our weapons are not, it's not carnal, man. Our warfare is not carnal. It's about learning this scripture, applying it, right? And execute it as the Lord said. Let's say the Lord. That's our, that's our, that's our weapon, man. Our weapon is two inches sword. Alright? So they that see that, they that see shall nearly look upon thee and consider. See, so, so, so we're considering, man, and we're near, we're like, like with this gut. So this, you know, the, 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 I'm going to say, this the man? But at one point, we see this man as a man of righteousness, man, as a man that has all the answers. You know what I mean? I, I, was, I speak as myself. If I, go, if, if I went to a doctor, whatever, I want to see the either my doctor, man, because I just thought he knew, knew, knew more. Right, because he, he, he's done. You know what I mean? Like all the universities, all these things, the statues, all, all of him. That's right. That's right. He's a man. <laughs> if, you, if you see the, if you see the icons of uh, like of the Renaissance and shit, man, you know, it you know? says, uh, "They shall nearly look, they shall nearly look upon thee, consider thee, say, is this the man that made the earth the so see, Lucifer. Remember, this is something that matters. Lucifer." So the Bible says, is this the man that made the earth triple? So that should get out of your mind, this Lucifer, is this man, this, 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 this um, being on the earth waiting for you, right? Waiting for you, you know, he, he's all decked in a nice suit and a well-trimmed goat beard. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that did shape kingdoms. That made the world and the wilderness. And he did do that, right? That's what he says at all point. Right? Like, you, 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 yeah, yeah, but Leon's don't be a single bed. Last year's mother couches. Right? And, and, and king size bed. Like, 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 why haven't warehouse filled with, with beds, right? That was last year's model. Like, you know, that's last year's model, you know? A bed's a bed, man. You know? So you have, you have all these trees coming for no reason. I tell you, it's sort of warming, right? And and, and, and cause clouds are farting. Yeah, yeah, that's the most I create the color. Yeah, yeah. It's just a bunch of yeah, yeah. methane gas and all that bullshit. And then, he's actually, they actually taught me that in school, man. I went to high school, man. In science class. They they they're you know? teaching that, man. And you really had to believe yeah, in that shit. Oh, yeah, no, I never liked science. You know what I mean? They're yeah. really yeah. teaching that. I'm like, whoa. Speaking like, like, like you know something. Right. Whoa. It's in the textbook. It's in the textbook. Look at the It's called the cow. Methane gas. Methane gas. I got, I got the bad grade oh, no. in that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, right? It's about me in the world as a wilderness and destroy the city thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners. That's right. Because even with the whole uh, America, man, there's a whole, uh, like a whole, uh, like a whole school to prison pipeline, right? Where uh, a lot of Israelites are in, like, are in these prisons. And uh, it's it's a it's a it's a big stock. Right. It, it, it's, Jake is on the stock exchange in, 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 in this prison. Right? And you're going out of your mind. Right? Like, you yeah, have your mind trapped, believing in one thing. We always do is say you set you free, man. Tell you who you are. Right? That's so important. Right? To know who you are and stop madness, man. Okay? Stop calling them Jesus Christ. Stop calling them Allah. Right? Because Esau has, has, has receipts. He knows who we are. Yeah. Like how we know who he is, yeah. he knows who we are. That's right. Yeah, no. yeah. Just, to just to back up what the elder said, the school, the school to uh, prison yeah. pipeline, one of my earliest memories, we must have been going grade one, grade one maybe, uh, 
police officer in the class, in the class doing a, uh, uh, you know, the police officers come in and oh, meet the police officer yeah, presentation. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, who wants to try on the handcuffs? <laughs> right? <laughs> Motherfucker put the handcuffs on me, bro. Got right? You. But that's, that's, yeah. The trauma. Yeah. yeah. But that's, that's, that, that's them programming you, programming you from young, man. Got yeah, because I remember when I was in, like, grade, like, four or five, and they show, like, the drugs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, drugs, yeah. yeah, yeah they're showing yeah, you, like, yeah. a whole... Whole bunch of different drugs. Yeah, so I'm like, to the old no, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, I, I think I did, or whatever. Yeah, like for like a okay, field trip. Yeah. Well, it's like it, it, it's a whole, it's it's their wickedness, man. Oh, yeah. And, and that handcuff was, was first called the torture cuff, right? Because yeah. actually, torture, man, and, and they make it they make it so the more you try to pull it, it gets tight on your yeah, hands. Yeah, it strips. You know? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Isaiah 60, verse 10, and it reads, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I, have I had mercy on thee. Right. This is when Israel gets their camp back, man. Okay, when Yahweh returns and he avenges Israel. We're set on high. And it's, our kingdom is going to be established, man. Okay, we're going to have new heathens, especially inside the so-called white man, enslaved you, man, the elites of you, man, building up our walls, building up our gate, building up our gate, man, and from, you know, by hand, man. Okay, go ahead. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually; they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles. Right, let's talk about trade. Man. We're going to have trade open 24 7, man. Okay? Obviously, except for the Sabbath, but it's going to be day or night, man. Okay? Bringing in resources into our kingdom, man. Building it, building it up. Human resources. Four slaves, man. Here. <laughs> okay? Go ahead. And that their kings may be brought. That's right. Continual employment, man. All right, a lot of people in Canada, they talk about, oh, we can't find a job and all these things. Well, guess what? Continual employment is coming. Now, under the, that's right. <laughs> now, now, now hiring. Man. That's right, right? Always oh, hiring. Right. Yeah. yeah. But from the time you're born. <laughs> that's right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to be a slow <laughs> thousand years. Bro. Yep. Yeah, man. Because that's the days really are going to be longer. Mm -hmm. Right? The Lord's, you know, just like now, we talk about this, but the Lord's speeding up the time now. But in our kingdom, the days are going to be longer, man. And that shows you protection as well, man. This pure, pure spiritual power and protection because you can't leave your gates open at night. Right. <laughs> right. You know, you yeah, gotta, yeah. You got to close your gate. Yeah. Who, who are you? We'll, we'll stay your you know, business. say your business. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's just going to be good. Right. Yeah. You either might better pray that when it says a day to the Lord, it's just it was a thousand years. That's not the day because if the Lord's got a lot of you guys, the Edomites, a day is a thousand years. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. He's yeah. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I think it's Revelation 12 is 12. I mean, the devil just cast up into his grid because he knows that you yeah, have a short time. Yeah. A short time left. That's why he saw always harping on, on punctuality in this thing. Right? Being on time and you know, clocking in and clocking out. He needs every hour out of you, right? You know? You got to talk Yeah. The time is not part of it. Right, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Falling behind. Exactly. And then, you know, that, that shows you that they can't really fully enjoy their kingdom, man. Because they have a short time. Right? And then even right now, that they have the whole uh, the whole 2030 agenda. Right. And like, and they're way behind. <laughs> because this whole agenda was supposed to already happen, man. Right. Like, like at least 10 years ago. Like even from 2000, right? Yeah, right. That, that, that whole end of the year was supposed to come, and you know, the whole right to be. And now they're rushing, so they're becoming sloppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, when you rush. Yeah. yeah. Because what's, what's that saying when you're with uh, like in construction? Fast is slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. 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 can smooth. Yeah. Yeah. This man just fuck. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Rush yeah. it. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Rush it. Get past the job. Yeah. Well, look at this uh, a, big, a little basic, uh, uh, you know, construction project, the Eglinton Crosstown, man. That's a shit show, man. You 
can't even get that in order when you're talking about the 2030 agenda and all vehicles being electric by um, 2030. And you don't even have the infrastructure for that. It's almost 2025, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So what's going on, man? For the nation and kingdom that will not serve me shall perish. Yes, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. The fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them. Yes, Lockheed, you're not going to have yeah, yeah, yeah. Trees like that. Look, uh, these trees, uh, terrible, man. Hydro yeah. wires underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know those uh, the green boxes? Yeah. 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 This is a hazard. Look at this. Yeah. Like, the, yeah. You're not going to have this transformer. Yeah. 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 You know? Uh, 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 some gas lines. Yeah. <laughs> what else? The nuclear, uh, the nuclear reactor, the nuclear plants, yeah. and all that oh, shit. Yeah. The power plants. Yeah. So you gotta go by and treat this right? Yeah. yeah. No more plastic and yeah, all that shit. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. The Lord is going to beautify Israel. We're going to be great. Huh? They're going to know we're gods on the earth. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Or around us and all of these things, man. all of us, man, women, and children, and women. all right, these things are going to have nothing to say, man. They're going to really know that we're gods, yeah. right? You know, three times again, mm -hmm. never know. Mm -hmm. But the only gods, that's to me, is like never know, man. Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 We're the fallen. Yeah. Right. We're the fallen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We fell. <laughs> <laughs> Because in this case, when you see Esau, he's not going for real. He's not, he's not that special about Esau. Nope. He meant on drugs. Yeah. yeah. He meant on all kinds of drugs. Right. That's why they get down. Yep. He's, he's really nothing special. Yeah, you put up that video of Trump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big fool, man. Well, yo, man, he's probably too much of a dream for me. You can do it. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles. And shall suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord Yahweh, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Uh, all those, uh, all that gold that you you have stored up, those riches, all right, it's going to be passed on unto us, man. Right? So we're not we're not worried, we're not tripping. Everything you know, all the mines that you have. Hey, you're harvesting gold and all these different metals, precious metals, man. Right? Yeah, you keep, put up that video. Keep eating this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very good documentary. Yeah. On YouTube. Right? We'll keep doing that, man. Yeah. You know, because we're going to need that in the kingdom yeah, anyway. And there's a lot of that here in Canada, yeah. man. Right. On them right the underground dirt. mines and yep. shit. Yep. And, and like in the video, man. The east side is so both places. He can tell you. Wait, he, he, I tell you, I tell you shit. Yeah, yeah, make, make a, uh, put up movies about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back. Wow. You know? That's some bad man thing, man. Take a shit, see how I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, how, that's how far gone Jake is. Gone. He's looking at Jake like, you, you guys are never going to rise. It's gone. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what are you talking <laughs> about? Yeah. You're going to fly? You're going to run? 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 You're <laughs> for brass I will bring gold and for iron I will bring silver and for wood brass I mean multiplied resources yeah accumulation high accumulation of fine precious resources man right 
Does it uh, destroys your drinks? Mm-hmm. Yeah, your cartilage, right? Kills you, man. So this man's wicked. That's why people in the world, for the most part, they walk barefoot, man. Right? They connect with the ground. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. a thing that is new. It's salt. You got the rubber shoes. You got the concrete. I will also make thy officers peace and thine exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting your destruction within thy borders. Thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall no more, the sun shall be no more thy light by day. You know, the violence will be no more heard in that gate, right? You hear about like places like Chicago, man. Every long weekend, like a single shot. Yeah, you know? It's not firecracking that's going on for the long weekend, man. You know? So that's violence, man. That's, you know, that's what we call PTSD. Living in a state of shell shock all the time, man. You know, it's a crazy place. They think they got the Yeah. Standing with talking to the camera. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, man, that's a yeah. that's a curse. That's a curse. <laughs> right? That's a, that's called the uh, astonishing the heart. Right. Fearful of the mind. You know? Do not just to preserve their life, though. They have to do this. You know? Yeah. Hey, there's a video put up right in the city. You got a surprise birthday party from the city. But he came in the dark. People pull out the You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's Jake Slink, though, man. Like, like, it's like um, also like that show The Wire, because that show is infamous. It shows you how Jake is living. And uh, Baltimore, and they call that place Body Mill. They call it, instead of Maryland, they call it Murderland. But you see like how it is a game with our people on how, how, how they treat crime. You know, it's just a game for them. It's not going to be like that in the kingdom where you're going to be going to the stash house, getting re up, you got to you got to speak up the phone. Neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord Yahweh shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy power, thy glory. Christians like to uh, like misinterpret that scripture and say there's not going to be no sun. You know, Yahweh is just going to be the sun, yeah, the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to out. No, man. That's what you That's just referencing. I'm the last one. Okay? You're referencing Yahweh Shai. Like, wow, this is the glory. Like, people like to worship the sun and the moon in this society. Do they not? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But that's all going to be taken away, man. Yeah. Everything yeah. going to be put in the proper perspective. Yeah. 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 Right. But that's all going to be taken away, man. Everything's going to be put in the proper perspective again. When Yahweh Shai sets that order again, man. Right? What? The sun, the sun, because the sun and the moon, they have to be on, on the earth, man. That's the ordinance. The Lord set up the ordinance. Forever. Right. 
so this is Proverbs chapter 6, <laughs> verse uh, 23, because the light is really the law of such the commandments, right? Right. So it's, uh, for the commandment is a lamb, and the law is a light, and the proofs of instruction are the way of life. And keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of the strange woman. It's really the law of such a commandment, that's light. Really, that's how the Lord is going to be a light unto us, because we have the laws written inside of us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just like the people that go down, like the Kemetic people, there's a scripture in the book of Psalms that says, The Lord is a son. See? It's a son. Oh, bruh! Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's some stupid shit, man. Go in the ways that God Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's your forefather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, well, you can't drink God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> Revelation 12, verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. And that's just backing up uh, uh, you bug out Christians saying there will be no sun in the kingdom. The sun and the moon is a symbolic of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right? Uh, Isaiah 60, verse 20. Thy son shall no more... Yeah, thy son. You know, you need this, you know, when he's looking at a sunset, you look up in the sky, it's therapeutic, man. Right? You know? Sunrise. Sunrise, right? You're on an island somewhere, man. Sun, you know, it's just a vibe, man. It's a, vi it's a vibration. You know what I'm set up, man. You know? You get certain, you get, uh, vi you know, vitamin D from the sun. All right? It brings forth life for the, uh, the plants to grow. All types of things, man. Right? Uh, Isaiah 60 and 20 right? Thy sun shall, shall no more go down Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself For the Lord Yahweh Shall be thine everlasting light And the days of thy morning Shall be ended Thy people also Shall be all righteous That's right because uh, Jake, oh, Who's thy people? Right Who is that? Thy people the the <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they said the days of the morning shall be ended, right? Who's, all, who's in mourning? Who's always in a state of loops? We're in the Israelites, man. So called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Who's in a state? Oh, who has mental health issues? Jake, man. Who had their uh, affliction forwarded? Yeah. Right. Everyone right. yeah. wants to say, hey, there's slaves everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's slaves everywhere. You were getting killed in pillage. Yeah. Right, but when you actually look into the history of how these people were treated, right, it was a deliberate uh, 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 genocide, man. You know, a gr on a grand scale of all nations. You all, all you nations have your problems, but you came together with one conglomerate and you said, you know what, fuck these people, let's, let's keep them down. Yep. Oh, they're the Lord's chosen people, we're going to make them keep sinning. That's the anti -dude. That's what they thought, but the Lord, he has a uh, remnant, man. Remnant city. All these other nations, you know, the nations of the East, they have certain traditions that they carry on from the past. You know? They know their, part of their heritage goes to a certain part, man. For Jake, they don't know, man. Well, in the, in the, after, well, during the time of the, after the Renaissance, 1600s, 1700s, 1800s, right? They, uh, why did they go out and they start looking up all the different artifacts in the scriptures? Right? They started going into the Middle East, to Egypt, to Mount Ararat saying, okay, if this is true, let's go find it out. They did find it. They found the, uh, no, uh, the Noah's Ark as real, that the uh, Egyptians were drowned in flood, right, in, in, in the sea. Right? And they found all these things, and that's why, what was it, in the 1800s, or late 1700s, they created a thing called the Bible Destruction Group, or Bible Destruction Society, you know, to discredit the scriptures. And then they put their professors into the Bible colleges, right, they can pretty much take away the shine from, uh, from the scriptures. And that was all from the Mosai anyway, right? He used the Edomites at the top of your power to do that. To trick people. All the Bible is a book of character. Book of the Bible. And we have all these manuscripts and translate and all this jargon, man. Right? Which the Lord has, has made them his men weave through that and actually find the truth within that. Right? Because we got the 1611 and you know what the lineage that comes from. You know? It was, it was very, uh, uh, very, uh, it took a lot of effort to translate that. 
get 42, right? 42 times over. Jeremiah 8, verse 1. At that time, saith the Lord Yahweh, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah and the bones of his princes. That's what you call archaeology. We saw goals and dust off this and oh, we have a site here and we got to take off this zone here. Right? That's, what, that's what they found. They found this king and that king and their remnants of this relic. And, right? And that's why uh, the Most High, he hid Moses' body. Right? So they couldn't find him. They would have dug him up and oh, here's Moses. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and the bones of the <laughs> and the bones of the priests and the bones of the prophets and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem yeah, out of their graves. Yeah, you saw likes to quantify everything, right? Okay, here we got King Hezekiah, here we got King David, this is the red. You guys had a one that, right? He did certain things just to prove and credit that the scriptures are real. Yeah, he the white. All the other nations, Jake's, right, as a testimony, but that whole, that whole, uh, uh, all those mysteries, the Lord still has a lot of mysteries that do not even access over there. Like, for example, Mount, uh, what is that, Mount, uh, Mount Sinai, right, you can't go up there, man. They got, a, they got a fence. If you go up there, the military comes, man, you can't, you can't just go up there, Mount Sinai. I'm just going to go to the hike. Yeah, yeah. Back in uh, Isaiah 60 and 21. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord Yahweh, will hasten it in his time. So there will be six in the kingdom, man. Those are just going to be additions. Like you're taking the herbs. In just, imagine taking the herbs in the kingdom. We we're not even going to need it in the kingdom, but imagine taking it in the kingdom. It's just going to amplify it a thousand times more. How, right? how are the herbs going to be? Right. That's right. Now. Right now they're weak. Right. right. The scripture says the herb is weak, man. It's born. Right. It's old. It's actually old. It's in its old age, man. Right. Right. So, so the strength of it, right? the people are less. If the people are less, that means what the people laid and the resources became less as well. Right? So in the ancient world, we were great, man. We were just on a different level and I'm not even talking about the medieval time where you had a cabinet you had a cabinet that was a regular cabinet drawer was like this 10 feet tall man right when you look up the old medieval times it was like a cabinet with a mirror and everything big as hell man so you go back another 500 to 1000 years how great men were how, how top the, the herbs were and the food so we're coming back to the and the Lord said he's going to do better for us now than in the beginning so we can't even imagine how it's Created the heaven and the earth, or the Allahayim, the Elohim, right? 
and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of the powers moved upon the face of the water. And the power said, Let us let there be light, and there was light. So the light and darkness is, is, is going to be needed. Right? So J. Cruz is talking about how he was saying that you don't need the sun or whatever. Like, you're crazy. Yeah, you got Jake saying, Hey man, this is the promised land. Right? A miracle. This is Jesus. This is this is where you were, right? What do you need, man? Right? So, 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 uh, he that is ignorant, let him remain ignorant still. You know? You got, you got a lot of Israelites that are bandwagon Israelites, right, going out there because they, they get 10,000, 20,000 views, you know, and then they feel nice. And they don't really understand what this is really about, man. The hour of temptation is coming for your ass. Right. And it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to pull at you. At your at your deepest necessities, man. Right, all the things you need, not even want. Right, never mind your wants, man. It's just the things you need. You're gonna have to depend on the Lord. So a lot of people are like, "You're just gonna flake off." Yeah. Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Deadly serious, man. It's, we don't. We're not doing this for praises of men. We're That's doing right. this to be saved, man. Okay. Seek ye out your own salvation with fear and trouble. That's right, man. So pretty much, uh, that's talking about the walking dead, you know, spiritually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congregations dead. You got a lot of our people there, zombies out there. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. Of, uh, <laughs> that's right. Dead <laughs> bones. Uh, Ezekiel right. thirty-seven. Yeah. You got a lot of uh, dead bones. Ezekiel's. Uh, uh, they're not awakened to the truth because uh, they don't have the breath, they don't have the knowledge. We went back to uh, Genesis, the second chapter. That's the, that's the same uh, type of life and breath that uh, Adam got, which is the word. A lot of our people, they're, they're in a really dead state. Dead mm -hmm. state. The wisdom of Psalm uh, 7 and 25. It's about, it's about that breath. Is it? It's about that, about that breath. If you're not a breath, it means you're dead, man. Right? I'm just walking around, you know, aimlessly. You got a cigarette, a cigarette behind you, in your ear. Yeah. Smoking that dirty cannon with that weed. Mm -hmm. it stinks, man. It stinks. Anyone uh, has a research? I got a scripture. This, this is scripture. Uh, this is Romans uh, 13 and 1. It says, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of Yahweh, the powers that be are ordained of Yahweh. Whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of Yahweh, and they that resist shall receive to them themselves the nation. For rulers are not terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of Yahweh, the thee for good. Hey, that goes that goes into the time we're coming into because you have to take uh, uh, take take good cheer that Esau's under the orders of how much should be on right? So what has to, what what's going to happen has to happen, no matter how it affects you or your family or whoever, right? You gotta know what path you're on. So when that all this shit comes down, then you're all oh, shooting yourself, shooting people. And this is going on, right? But if, if, look, if, if you're faithful to the Lord, the Lord's gonna deliver you from all this stuff, right? And it's gonna be near death situation, right? I'm not saying you're so far off. You're gonna be near near death, man. Right? right? Constantly. And then ever more, you're gonna know. Okay, the Lord, He has to do. It's gonna so many situations, right? Yeah. It's gonna make you praise Him more, pray to Him more. Right? Go ahead. Yes, right. 
Well, I mean, yeah, I was shy. He was subject to that as well because guess what happened to uh, him, him versus uh, Pontius Pilate? You know, he still had to sit there and listen to him, and he had to be rebuked by his own people. Well, not really rebuked, but accused, yeah, yeah. falsely right. accused yeah. by his own people. He had to, he had to go through that. So, who are we? You know, that's the Lord of Lords. So, man. It says, but if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of Yahweh, a revenger, to execute with wrath upon him that do evil. Wherefore he must leave to tribute for that period of time, right? So remember the scripture says, for Esau the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning of it, and Paul it. So we're still in Esau's world, like the end of it, but we're still in it. So we still have to obey. We're POWs. Right? Hey, look at all the people that, that, that uh, went balls, balls deep in the toilet, the cold of things. The same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> said as well, if it be possible, live with all men peaceably, in peace, right? Now I'm going to read what the brother read in the NLT, 1 Peter 2 and 13, right? It says, for the Lord's sake, respect all human authorities, whether the king as head of state or the officials he has appointed. The king has 
sent them to punish those who do wrong and to honor those who do right. So that when the police, like the police used to bother us, we could, we could never get caught. Right? When the police used to bother us, we just have to bring out the scripture and the scripture. And guess what? They left us alone, man. It took a, it took a while. And they wanted to arrest us, get us off the street. But the Lord, you know, we're, up the, we're, we're in the stead of the Lord, man. We're in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yosha. So they were literally fighting against the Yahweh Hashem Yosha. And then that's why I think the sergeant, I forgot what year was, 2013 or 14, he died, man. Right? Yeah, you had a crazy guy hijack a snowplow and he rammed the snowplow into, into the sergeant's uh, uh, car. Man. Mm. And the guy was trying to shoot. Yeah, yeah. Pull out the gun, shoot yeah. 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 right through him, man. Yeah. And then he wasn't found guilty because he was insane. Mm -hmm. That was the Lord, man. That's the Lord. That's right. Right? That's right. That's right. It says, um, so even, so like, even with that, like, the, high, the higher power, they can't just make their move on the, his, on the, on the elect like that, man. Right? Because they know a spiritual power is dealing with us, man. Right? You know? Uh, verse uh, 15, it says, It is the Most High's will that your honorable lives should silence those ignorant people who make foolish accusations against you. Yeah, they stockpiling guns and you guys are training and explosives. <laughs> you know, no, nah, man, we don't, we don't have none of that. Right? So there's no, there's no accusations that you can throw at us, man. Other than the spear can. Right? And, and setting up false Israelites that do want to do that dumb shit. Right, and then right. trying to pile us up into one cat. Oh, look, black Hebrews, like black, black, black. Right? It says, verse 16, for you are free, yet you are God's slave, the most high slave. So don't mm -hmm. use your freedom as an excuse for people. Okay. Alright, so we're going to close up. So with that, we're going to give our glory. Honor and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakudash. We say Kwame Asherala, Kwame Asherala, Abad Baba, Abad Baba, Salawak, 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 Sal